Okay, next step is to go back into our DM updater. So just go ahead and click on that. And we'll let it load. And it says, your recovery image needs to be updated. Continuing will void your warranty. And we're gonna say, I understand the risk. It says, are you really, really sure? And we're gonna say, yep, let's go ahead and flash the recovery image. Okay. So we'll do that. And next thing, now we actually choose the ROM we want to install. Okay, so you can just, for quick access to DroidMod 1.0, you can just punch that top button, but I'm gonna show you the ROM menu. So if we hit ROM menu, it gives us two options right now. One is to go back to stock with no root, basically your simple phone that you got out of the box, okay? And we can do that now just from, we've, we've rooted our phone. If we don't wanna go this next step to Droid Mod 1.0, we can just tap that and go back and unroot it and we're back to normal. But we wanna show you Droid Mod 1.0. So all we do is tap that button and it says found on my SD card is Droid Mod. Okay, so what that means is that I've already downloaded the file. Now, if you punch that for your first time, it's gonna actually download this file. And you can see right there, it says download. Well, I've already done that and it obviously found it, so I don't need to download again. For, for those of you out there, I think it's about 60 megs. So it's kind of a big file and it might take a little bit of time to download if you are not on your Wi-Fi. So once you get downloaded, it'll ask you then to flash tar. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit flash tar. And then it says we're ready to flash ROM and we're going to go ahead and hit flash. And this is where the process is completely automated. OK, so you can see it just turned my phone off and it's going to reboot it. And it should reboot into SP recovery and do a backup and do all kinds of stuff for us so that we don't have to do any of this stuff manually. OK, so here we go. Welcome to SP recovery. Okay, attempting backing up before installing, attempting an Android backup, and it says dumping system.tar, don't worry about that, we're just doing a backup here. It's giving you basically an image of what your phone looked like before we you know, started doing all this stuff so that if something happens, we can always go back to it. So this is probably your best friend right here for those of you that are really worried about rooting your phone and getting all crazy and thinking you're gonna avoid the warranty and break it and brick it and all that fun stuff, right? So just let this roll through and you can see status bar is going along nicely down there. Dump the system.tar and now it's dumping the data.tar. So this is the part that takes a little bit of time and this is where some people freaked out a little bit and they didn't see the yellow bar moving fast enough so they did battery pulls and all that stuff. Um, as far as I know, if you pull your battery out during this and throw it back in, it'll just start back up right at this spot and you'll still have to go through the process. So just let it let it roll, give it some time, it'll, it'll get through it. And we're still dumping, almost done with the data.tar. So we've had no hiccups so far. Okay, and here we go, done. Now we're attempting to install ROM from that droid mod, which is the file that we downloaded. Okay, so we're unpacking wiping system stuff get ready to do this okay so you can see now we're getting that gray bar again where it says it's loading and thinking and all that this is another part where it got hung up for some people and they got a little scared but just be patient give it some time and there we go see now we're rolling again no lockups and we're extracting <clears throat> So like I said, this is the most important part because it's backing up. Well, it already did the backup and it created, you know, everything you need in case something goes wrong with this. Okay, anyways, it's it's extracted to system.tar and if we go up top here, you'll see. It says, say yes if you're using 2.1. Okay, well, we're not. So if you say yes, it's those next two options and right now it's highlighted on no. Here, I'll just show you. No, keep data. So I'm going to say no keep data and to access this I'm sorry this menu we're gonna use volume up and down to go up and down and then the camera button is like our OK button so I'm highlighted on no keep data and I'm gonna hit my camera button takes me to the next screen which is choose your bash RC for ADP shell ADB shell for most of us we really don't care so go down and hit Windows which is non colored bash RC see that right there go down to that one and tap your camera button Okay, the next thing. 
Are you having issues with Maps Force Closing? They're talking about Google Maps. Now, I've never had this problem, so I'm going to select No, which is the first option. Okay. And the next thing, select Packages to Install. Now, if you can see all these, one says the 2.1 keyboard with speech dictation. Very cool. You want to make sure you install that. And to get up and down from these, we just hit our volume down button. Okay, so you see how that works. Um, 2.1 desk clock, want that. Milestone browser with multi-touch, we want that. And if you want something, you just got to make sure the little star is checked in there. Okay, minimum brightness hack, let's leave that in there. Low brightness app, leave that. YouTube high quality, that means videos will play in YouTube in high quality automatically. You don't have to choose that. Um, the Genie News and Weather widget, Wi-Fi tether, I don't want that. So I'm going to uncheck that. And to uncheck it, you can see I selected it. And then I hit my camera button and that unchecked it. Okay. Um, open VPN, don't really care. Drop bear, SSHD, not really sure what that is. So we'll go ahead and just leave it there. Okay. When you got all the options you want, go back up to finish and press your camera button. Takes you to the next thing audio video, or I'm sorry, audio toggle app. We can leave that. High quality video, leave that. 2.0 lock screen. Okay. A lot of people have asked me when I, you know, showed them the live wallpapers video why my lock screen was the new one which is just the slide across one and rather than the swoop one okay so if you like the rig the slide across one you want to uncheck this if you like that old swoopy one that we had in 2.0 then you leave that one checked i don't like it so i'm unchecking okay flack support is a you know a music file type thing not really that familiar with it it says it's a work in process so uh work in progress so i'm unchecking it um, milestone widgets, you can leave those if you want. I don't want them. G1 IM app, I don't use AOL Instant Messenger, so I'm getting rid of that. And then the most important one for a lot of you is this last one, which is live wallpapers. Go ahead and leave that one checked so that it installs. And we go back up to finish and click that. Okay, next thing is select music to install. Um, the first one, which is highlighted, is the 2.1 music app, which is the best one. So go ahead and select that one. Select gallery to install. The first one is the 2.1 gallery 3D with multi-touch, so leave that highlighted and click your camera button. Um, select packages to remove. Um, the first one says finish, so we can just leave it up there. Um, one says remove corporate calendar, remove email, remove visual voicemail, remove Amazon, remove Facebook. I don't want any of that stuff removed, so I'm gonna leave those there. I do want my corporate calendar gone and email gone. I want my Gmail only. So we'll go ahead and leave that there, and we're gonna go ahead and click finish. And there we go. It's loading all that stuff. You can see install, YouTube hack, all that stuff in there, okay? And then it reboots our phone for us. And when this puppy starts back up, we should be fully droid mod running. And this might take a little bit of time, um, it's got to open all that new stuff up and you'll see we do have a new boot screen which should say droid mod on it instead of instead of your droid does and sure enough there we go so for those of you that bared with me through this whole thing we are essentially finished and once this thing boots up for the first time we will be ready to roll um, one thing I also want to point out is it does save your settings like your Gmail when you pull up your Gmail you don't have to add all your accounts again sync anything that's all set um, all your bookmarks are in your browser still all those are still set you know everything all your settings are still there so this droid mod team did a fantastic job at carrying all your settings over on things like that okay all right so here we go um, you can see I kept that new screen so rather than the swoopy one so we can just go ahead and unlock and we'll let it pop up. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, and four, and five screens. So there's our five screens right off the bat. You'll notice those. Um, when I say it saves your set, your settings, I mean your Gmail and your bookmarks and things like that, but it doesn't save you know these screens. So all your screens you have to reload, which makes sense because now you got five anyway. Okay, so now we can go in and you know and add beautiful widgets and load up all that cool stuff. Um, but for most of you, you probably want to see the live wallpapers now. So if we go settings, wallpapers, live wallpapers, tap that, load these up, and there we go. They're all in there. Okay, and let's just select water as that seems to be the one people really like to play with okay so there you go now you got water you got live wallpapers we're droid modded and we're rolling